Okay, guys. Finally, 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 finally got this thing going. This filter has been running uh, for about uh, five days. And it is doing very, very nicely. As you can see, you can see the pipe all the way down to the bottom. The air bubbler is bringing the water from down below to the surface. The skimmer is picking up whatever is floating around. And the pump is circulating this water very, very nicely. The one change that I did was this. I added a 90 degree elbow here. Before, I had a pipe going all the way down to the bottom. And every time you shut the pump off, it'll siphon the water back into the tank, which is okay, but uh, when you turn the pump back on, you have to refill it. Now, it's no big deal because this water here is the same water as here, so, you know, it's okay. Uh, the water would only go down to the same level as this pipe. But the reason I put this elbow here is because it brings the water up and aerates it and helps separate some of the rust and settle to the bottom or catch it in the net. And then it goes through the net, comes out on the next compartment, and by the time it gets there, it will have a lot less rust and particles of whatever, so it'll have a less of a difficult time filtering through and coming around to here. And so far, it's working very nicely. Now, we ordered some uh, alum, which is uh, aluminum sulfate. I think I will put some in here and speed up the uh, settling of whatever happens to be in the water and uh, let it run for a few more days and then uh, we can transfer some of them fish over. So right now this water here is waiting for me to uh, spray this thing one more time and then this here will get sprayed two more times the pump was ordered and should be here today and once I install this pump spray this thing twice we should be able to run this pump. So, after I clean the filters today, I will spray this one time here, continue on down this way, and then this afternoon or tomorrow, I'll spray it one more time, and like I said, we should get that pump today, and I will be able to do this setup here. The pump will be here, carried on a one and a half inch pipe. Here it'll transition to a three quarter inch pipe where the skimmer goes. One inch pipe this way, it'll have two one inch pipes running here where you'll have the uh, pump pickup points. But I have to uh, I have them in the shop, I need to uh, cut them and make them. 
so I'll do that today also. Then here, for the air bubbler, all I need to do is uh, cut this pipe going across here to that corner, bring it up so that I, we can connect a uh, air pump. That's on order two, and uh, it should also be here today. That would give us four air pumps, uh, one for each tank. Yeah. All right, well, let me get busy with the filters and then get to spraying. The sooner I do it, the sooner I can get this thing pumping and clearing this water up, and then we'll go from there. I, I must say one thing, though. As frustrating as this first tank was in sealing those uh, leaks, the second one should be easier. And the third one should be easier, and the fourth one should be easier because you're finding all the problems as you go along. For example, that uh, one inch drain pipe there that we couldn't find the leak, we finally found it. So we won't have the problem on the other tanks as far as that particular thing. You know, unfortunately when the, the guy that built this thing made it, he didn't do a very good job at it and I'm, now I'm paying for it and time, money, and frustration. But that's okay. Life goes on and I will get this thing going. Now, all the lessons here will be applied on this side. So once we get to this side and build the filters over here, we won't make the same mistakes. Yeah. All right. Let me get busy and we'll talk to you guys later. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.